we've seen a lot of controversy in the video game industry over the last few weeks between Sweet Baby Inc., Gamergate 2, all these different games journalists or game developers or game consulting companies having absolute meltdowns and attacking gamers. And if you thought that that was going to slow down, well, I've got news for you. It's only just gotten started because Sweet Baby Inc. is not the only woke consultant company out there that's trying to push an agenda in video games. There's dozens more, and one of those is Black Girl Gamer. Now, they don't just consult on things. They also act almost as like a talent agency in some ways. You guessed it for black girl gamers. But it wasn't that long ago. Look, back on March 14th, they got put on blast. They got destroyed. They got annihilated for this tweet. The amount of harassment we've had recently due to this Gamergate 2 is not surprising. Gamers that thought the industry revolved around them and their comforts are now realizing it doesn't. Yeah, the audacity of gamers to believe that the customer, the audience, people out there that actually buy this shit, the idea that they should be catered to by the industry. Oh my, what, what a crazy concept. I think it's pretty easy to guess what a group like black girl gamers thinks the industry should revolve around. But anyway, I'll continue. We've had a emails, comments, and threats, but you know what? We're not going anywhere. Well, things have evidently taken a turn for black girl gamers. They got very upset that they got called out by this, and now they're trying to do something about it. They're trying to do damage control, and we are at the point where they are now threatening legal action against a website for putting out an article about them. We're addressing the recent allegations published on thatparkplace.com about discriminatory hiring practices within black girl gamers. We're going to go through all of this, don't worry, but there's a little bit of a story to tell. It's surrounding this article from March 15th. For spoken consultant, black girl gamers appears to discriminate in their hiring practices while claiming they are being harassed. And just to make sure that we you know we did our due diligence, and I want to check, we use that park place. This is John F. Trent, who used to work at Bounty Into Comics, now works at park, that park place. We've covered a lot of John F. Trent articles over the years. I just wanted to make sure that this was the same. I went back to the first archive I have of this the day after it was published. It's not like the titles change, not like the headlines change. I can't see any changes to this article. Just want to point that out. But even in the title, they say, appears to discriminate in their hiring practices while claiming they're being harassed. And that has now led to nearly two weeks later, them threatening legal action against that park place. And it, it surrounds this specific tweet right here. Looking for black women content creators that make up Dungeons and Dragons content for some potential brand work. Hit us up. Uh, yeah, weird that you would just ask for black women and then someone alleges that maybe you have discriminatory hiring practices. Weird how something like that could happen. Now, it is ironic that about a month later, they put out another tweet that said, looking for content creators. FYI, this is for content creators of all backgrounds. Probably in all likelihood, they couldn't find enough black content creators that wanted to involve themselves with something Dungeons and Dragons related. So they were forced to open it up to all backgrounds. But that's not a statement of fact. That's just speculation and a guess uh, because it's very, very strange that they would call for black content creators and then call for content creators of all backgrounds a month later after they didn't get enough replies. But let's get in to this lawsuit, to their statement, and what they're going to do about it. Video game consultancy agency Black Girl Gamers threatened to take legal action against that park place, filing a report that it appears the company discriminates in their hiring practices. In an article titled, For Spoken Consultant Black Girl Gamers Appears to Discriminate in Their Hiring Practices While Claiming They're Being Harassed, it was posited that it appeared the organization was discriminating in their hiring practices based off a post that we just talked about. Black women content creators that make Dungeons & Dragons content. Guess they didn't get enough responses. Following the publication of these two articles, Black Girl Gamers took to X to threaten legal action to that park place. Uh, let's read through this. We're addressing the recent allegations published on that park place about discriminatory hiring practices with black girl gamers. Nothing says confidence like turning off your replies, by the way. These claims are false and were made without prior fact-checking or verification from us or our representatives. Black girl gamers operates as a con contracting organization that collaborates with both freelancers and content creators from all backgrounds to work on various projects and initiatives to amplify underrepresented voices in gaming and make the community more inclusive. 
Contrary to the allegations, Black Girl Gamers has contracted freelancers of all races, genders, sexual orientation, religions, and ethnic backgrounds. We've also included representations of all genders and backgrounds in our content, at our events, and our marketing consultancy, uh, research projects, some of which are not publicly disclosed due to NDAs. Evidence demonstrating our commitment to diversity and inclusion including our non-discriminatory hiring practices, is readily available and easily searchable. We will look at that because, as it turns out, if you do a little digging, certainly makes this statement seem very interesting. Upon discovering there are false and defamatory allegations, we've taken steps to obtain legal counsel to take action against the publication and journalists, as well as subsequent content creators who have reshared the false allegations about our organization. Oh no. Oh my God. We will continue to pursue further action against anyone who persists in spreading false and defamatory information. We value the talent contributions and all our collaborators. We're committed to can do it. We're committed to continuing to do so. Thank you to our community for the ongoing support. Well, as it turns out, seems like it's pretty tough to find that they actually care about hiring, you know, straight white males at this company. Uh, so we're going to get into this because Grums put out this thread about it. That's got a lot of traction, obviously. And he starts with saying, Hey, they're threatening this. They're threatening legal action against that park place. Even though in the original article, it, it, it says, hey, they appear to be doing this. They appear to be discriminating based off of race. That park place is likely referring to Title VII of the Civil Rights Act, which prohibits employment discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Again, that first tweet that we looked at that is still up for them specifically was asking for black female content creators. That's what they were looking for. A month later, when they in all likelihood didn't get enough of those, they opened it up to people of all backgrounds. But that's what was probably being alleged in that original Park Place article. BGG goes on to state that evidence of their non-discriminatory hiring practices is readily available and easily searchable. So I did some searches for BGG and hiring policy or consultant and was not able to find anything. In fact, the website has no published hiring policy that I could find. In fact, job posting listings are password protected and require that you first reach out to BGG to obtain access. That doesn't seem easily searchable. Um, BGG's own website claims to be 100% minority operated. That's weird. I heard you were just so inclusive, including white people, right? 100% minority operated. I've seen minority owned, but what does minority operated mean? It's unclear if they mean 100% of the management or 100% of all staff. The 100% minority operated claim, the sealed job board, and the lack of hiring policy on their website seems to contradict their claims of their hiring practices being readily available and easily searchable. Should also point out that even if you want to join their community, if you go to their website and want to join their community, Black Girl Gamers also runs a community, but you must first apply and cannot join if you self-identify as a man. Only if you're a woman or like non-binary or something are you allowed to join their community. Yet they in continue to insist that they're super inclusive. On top of all this, one of the company's FAQ section of their website, one question asks, can my white husband join? He's black on the inside. The response reads, dot, 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 if you don't leave that man at home. Uh, then you have this, how can my company benefit from your consultancy service? They specifically say, as experienced black women in the gaming industry, we have a global lens that combines DEI and decades of experience in the industry to create insightful or inclusive, insightful and innovative solutions for our clients' needs. Legal Mindset weighed in on this. The most insane thing here is the company in question has likely made statements about other parties that are closer to defamation than those of the news outlets. There's zero chance this hits the actual malice standard. And beyond that, and he talks about opening up to discovery and things that they've said before. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fucking lawyer, obviously. Uh, he is, right? Andrew is a lawyer. So I certainly can't comment on the specific legal standard of all of these things. However, when you pair up what they've said, when you pair up that you can't find about their own diverse and inclusive hiring practices when it doesn't include black women or anything like that or minorities, certainly nothing about white men pretty much anywhere on their website that says they're welcome or they hire them or anything like that. It seems like a joke. It seems like this is a complete and total meltdown from black girl gamers in all likelihood in response to them getting destroyed again and again and again and again. They're threatening this legal action. Doesn't look like that park place is backing down in any way. 
What do you guys think about this situation? Let me know in the comments section below. A lot of this is just speculation from me based on what we're seeing, but let me know what you think. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.